Hey guys, so I'm just coming back from the beauty supply store and I am about to do a vinegar rinse now. I'm going to let it sit for about uh, 15 minutes in the vinegar and then probably, you know, let it air dry overnight and also rinse it out. I don't know if I'm going to wash the actual hair with like cheapy conditioner. I'm not sure yet, but I know I'm definitely going to, you know, do the vinegar rinse and let that sit. But if it has a smell on it, I'm probably going to wash it um, as well. So uh, I'm going to show you the packs of hair that I picked up and I picked up nine packs of hair. So I'm going to show you that really quickly. Okay guys, so I picked up two brands of hair. The first one is the Jumbo, the Q Jumbo braiding hair. And this is in a one. I believe I also have this hair in a two. I also bought the Vivica Fox hair and I got this in a two. And then maybe, wait, let me see. I know I bought a lot of the Vivica Fox. So I have it in a two and that's it? Oh, I have a whole bunch of twos, okay. So I have um, two and three uh, ones. So just a mixture of hair. I want my hair pretty big, so I have nine packs over here. And then I have a pool of water, and then I picked up some vinegar. Uh, if I can show you guys. Just some regular old vinegar. And I'm going to put, um, I don't know how much, but not that not that much. I'm going to try to put at least six in at a time, because it's honestly not... Like, the packs are a little skimp, and it was three for five, so that was the bargain that I went for, so it was $15 for all this hair. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, so I actually put all the packs in there, which is awesome. And as you guys can see, the little layering, and this is what I heard was the coat of the synthetic hair. So with all of this coming off, the first week of itching and your scalp feeling like you have a whole bunch of ants and all that crap on it, it's coming off with the lukewarm water and the vinegar. So as you guys can see, I didn't use that much vinegar. Um, I put it in this container, which wasn't filled up to the rim. So this is how it's going right now. And like I said, it's only been in here for like two minutes. And as you guys can see, some of that coating coming up from the hair. I'm going to show you guys in 15 minutes how much of the coating has come off but as for now I'm just putting my hands in and making sure that all the hair is submerged inside and also all coming off but as you guys can see that um, coating is definitely coming off and hopefully this does work so stay tuned guys so it's been about 15 minutes and as you guys can see the coating that has been made from the hair and when I pulled the hair up it was very very the water was very, very milky, so that is actually a good thing, as you can see, all around. So I'm going to take it out, rinse it out about two or three times, and then hang it up in my bathroom and let it dry. I'm going to braid the hair or, you know, twist it to make it a bit more manageable, and then I am going to proceed to braid my hair, and hopefully it comes out A-OK. -okay. So I'll keep you guys updated on this process and show you guys my hair tomorrow. Bye, guys.